Hi, I'm Julie Gibbons and I'm uh, going to share with you today how to use Adobe's Colour Picker from their website. And of course you can um, create a colour palette for all sorts of reasons, including of course your branding for your own business. So let's get stuck in. All right, I'm just going to share the screen and I'll give you a bit of a run through on how it all works. So what we've got here is the um, screen that you come up with when you just go to colour.adobe.com and uh, there's already a palette there that I've chosen. But as I've said lots of other times too, you can actually go in and upload your own photo and choose a colour palette from that. So I've got a bunch of public domain pictures here that I can choose a colour palette from. Let's just go to this beautiful one of lush old-fashioned roses and you can see here that it's just uh, picked out what it thinks are the main colors within that image on a color that's chosen all the colorful ones if you go to this drop down menu all you have to do is, is um, scroll over it'll drop down for you you can go into bright it will resample those things or muted or deep colors or dark and then you can change them to your suit yourself which is the custom one and with the custom one you can drag your sample points around and you can see there's a little um, magnified section which will show you where the sample point is and you can just kind of adjust it more or less to where you want all right so once you've got something that's a bit close i would prefer to have that one a little bit less vivid so I might go something a little bit, okay, so something like that to start off with. And then what we can do is we can um, click on this Create from Colour Wheel little logo at the top here. And what that will do is tip you over to the other side of this colour picking program and uh, you can then adjust those colours even more. Now, um, I can use, firstly, if you see here, this will have this as a base colour. And I'll get to that a bit more in a minute. Um, but what this is, is, with the circle, that adjusts saturation more or less to the outside. And then you can come back in. And this down here is your uh, darkness and lightness. And you can adjust it there. And also, these are your RGB values. So you can, and you can um, change them around too to suit yourself. And as you can see, I'm still on the custom one. Now, you can also, once you've got a base colour, which is this one here with the little white triangle, you can also choose one of these colour rules. And this will change the whole... Uh, structure of um, the colour scheme. So if you want to keep, I must say with the colour Adobe, the one thing you do is you save frequently because if you don't save those colour codes, um, you every time you change it around, it won't, you won't, aren't able to go back and uh, pick them up again. So uh, you can also see they've got the RGB values down here and all the, also the hex code there. So if you find a colour that you really, really love, you can keep that, uh, just uh, record that. All right, so we can save the whole palette though. You have to be logged in. I'm logged in as Julie, and you have to click over here to save it. You can save it to your library, give it a name. And then you can add some tags, you can publish it. You can just keep it as a private thing in your own library or you can actually add some tags and put it out into uh, the public section of uh, Adobe Colour and uh, other people can choose your palette and use it as well. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to save it for myself. And there we go. All right, so there we go. It's lovely, doesn't it? Now, we can go back and um, 
edit it there or we can just go back into create and we'll have that same palette there we'll go down to the drop down menu we can choose analogous colors which are colors which are all quite in a in the same area within the color wheel monochromatic which chooses different uh, <coughs> different lightness and darkness different tones of the same color as well as different saturations of the same color so they're all on the same uh, line on the color wheel except they have more or less gray and more or less um, lightness then you can go into a triad which has colors chosen from three different points around you know like an equilateral triangle around the color wheel and you can if you drag one of them the, especially the main color you can see that they all drag around at the same time complementary colors are on opposite sides of the color wheel again you can drag them if you want to change just one color at one time you'll have to go back and click on custom and change them one at a time if you remain in complementary, you can still change them a little bit. You can change the saturation of them. So I can change this colour without affecting. It's a bit hard to do sometimes, a bit wobbly. But you can still change that saturation of that colour without affecting the rest of the colours. But you cannot change it. You know, you can't make it a red. Everything else spins around too. <coughs> Compound. It's a bit more complex and it just um, chooses um, things from more or less on opposite sides. And shades, again, this, whereas uh, monochromatic chooses different, hue, different um, saturations as well as different tones, <coughs> this just co concentrates on choosing different, sat um, sorry, different tones. So just lighter and darker of exactly the same um, saturation see they're all on top of each other <coughs> excuse me so that's a bit of a run through of that and as i said once you've got a color scheme that you like you might make it a bit darker and then we can save that green Unclick that one so we don't have to publish it to the general public. Just save it like that. All done. Go back into create. If you want to upload another photo, just go there and choose a different photo. And I'll choose this one. There we go. Again, sample points. It automatically pops up as custom over here once you start moving those sample points around all right so that's pretty much it for a uh, brief inter introduction to adobe color and um that's about it so thank you all for watching and i shall see you next time bye